Hi guys, today we're heading over to K&K Custom Cycles in Palm Harbor, Florida, where father and son team Ken and Kyle Boyle are gonna walk us through the P-HD4UT package installation. Let's go check it out. In this video, we'll be installing the P-HD4UT in a 2020 Ultra Limited. Since this bike works on the same basic platform as the 2014 and newer Street Glide, we'll be using footage captured from our P-HD3FR video to demonstrate the front speakers and amplifier installation. However, we will be switching to actual views of the 2020 Ultra Limited for all unique parts, including the rear tour pack speakers and special wiring harness installation. To get things started, place a towel on the bike's front fender to protect against bumps and dings. Remove the seat to gain access to the battery. Remove the two bolts to allow the other wire harnesses in the way to be moved aside. Then disconnect both the positive and negative main power wires from it. Remove the outer fairing by removing the four bolts holding it in the back and the three holding it in the front. along with the headlight harness. Release the wire harnesses held over the top of the black plate on top of the radio by the factory Christmas tree fasteners. Remove the four factory screws that go through the top of the black plate. Remove the harnesses and bolts holding the brake side speaker pod in place. Then remove it from the bike and set it on a table. Undo the four screws that hold the factory speaker to the cabinet and carefully disconnect the speaker wires one at a time. Replace the factory speaker with the Kenwood XM65F speaker by reattaching the factory speaker wires, noting they will only go on one way. Use the factory screws you just removed to secure the new speaker in place. Undo the three factory screws holding the factory grill in place and install the supplied metal mesh grill in its place. Ensure that the Kenwood grill is oriented so that the keyhole is positioned closest to the radio and secure it in place using the factory screws you just removed. When installing these on a road glide model, you'll observe that the factory grills remain. Reinstall the speaker cabinet. Repeat the speaker replacement process on the clutch side, noting that if you are installing a third amp, the third amp mounting bracket will need to be attached to this speaker cabinet at this time. Place the amplifier mounting plate over the top of the radio. It will only go on one way. Use the factory screws to secure the mounting plate in place and mount the amplifier on the left-hand side of the plate, positioning the output pigtail so it's sitting on top of the amp. Plug the 8-pin input harness into the amp and then plug in the front output harness with brown, black, and blue-black wires into the black 4-pin plug on the pigtail coming out of the amp. Attach the main wire harness to the tab on the front of the amplifier's mounting plate using the factory Christmas tree fastener. Remove the 2-pin receiver output harness connector and plug it into the amp's green-black 2-pin input bypass harness connector. From the amp, take the two-pin speaker harness connector with blue-black wires and plug it into the brake side speaker cabinet connector. Repeat the process on the clutch side by removing the two-pin receiver output harness connector and plugging it into the amp's yellow-black two-pin input bypass harness connector. Then take the amp's two-pin speaker harness connector with brown-black wires and plug it into the clutch side speaker cabinet connector. The length of the power harness will pass under the inner fairing where the main wiring harness passes through the bike. Mount the second amp to the right-hand side of the mounting plate and position the black four-pin pigtail over the top of the amp. Plug in the amp's input bypass harness with two four-pin blue connectors on it. Plug the male blue connector from the second amp into the female blue connector from the first amp. Plug in the second amp's main power harness and then run both power harnesses to the battery at the same time. Do not reattach the power wires to the battery yet. 
loosen the tank console and run the wires underneath it, over the gas tank. There is a provision on the front of the tank console for wires to pass. If you prefer, you can remove the gas tank and run the harness along the backbone of the bike's frame. If you're also planning to install a set of lower pod speakers, a third amplifier can be installed using the CA PLT14 SG3 mounting plate and mounting it to the right of the secondary amp as shown. If you're installing this package on a road glide, the amplifiers are mounted to the bracket in a different orientation as shown here. A third amplifier can be installed using the CA PLT14 RG3 mounting plate and mounting it to the left of the secondary amp as shown. Clean up and secure any wiring inside of your fairing using the zip ties supplied. For the best possible FM reception, do not attach any of the amplifier wiring to any factory antenna wires. The P-HD4UT includes a CA-HRN14UT harness that connects to the rear tour pack speakers. You will see that one end of this harness has two four-pin connectors. One of these will plug into the amplified out on the amp that will power the rear speakers. Plug the black eight-pin plug into the amplifier's input. The second four-pin plug marked rear in on the rear speaker harness will plug into one of the blue four-pin connectors, noting they will only go in one way. The harness that will run the rear speakers will pass under the inner fairing on the clutch side of the bike, following the same path as the power harness wire. Locate the factory wire plug that holds the seat bolt on the back fender, noting that one side of the plug has wires going to each rear speaker pod. Separate the factory plug. One plug from the CA-HRN14UT harness will plug into each side of the factory plug just separated. They will only go together one way. Remove the four screws securing the rear tour pack speakers in place. Connect the XM65R speakers and use the four factory screws you removed earlier to secure them in place. Refit the fuel tank and attach the wires to the battery terminals, red to positive and black to negative. Lastly, turn the bike's handlebars fully in both directions to ensure that there are no obstructions and you're all set.